let's see what's next. Enter. Your Grace, your guest has arrived. Pray, come in and take your ease. Is well that the steps of faith held against the horde. And what of the city proper? We sustained some few losses, but the heart of our nation yet beats with vigor. I am not certain I could say the same had we not received your most generous aid. An attack on Ishgard is an attack on the realm. We stand together or fall divided. Really? Because that's my, not my recollection. Such noble words after the fact. I had hoped to speak in the presence of her grace, but it seems she has been delayed. That being the case, now would seem as good a time as any. Honored friends, pray allow me to convey Ishgard's warmest gratitude for your part in the defense of our lands. It's your favorite vamp. It is upon the success of this very alliance that my recommendation to throw open the gates of judgment shall be founded. With the blessing of the Archbishop, it is my hope that Ishgard will soon be reunited with her long estranged sister nations, and that Eorzea shall once more be as one. Somehow I don't think Pope with Ash and Friends is going to agree to that. Alfie, why you look so angry? Very well. Is Optimus? Nothing to worry about. I shall return anon. You wished a word, Yu Yu Hase? Um. That was suspicious. You may go. Your Grace. You must be curious as to the reason for this private audience. The matter I would discuss, however, 
will soon make apparent the need for discretion. I intend to abdicate the throne and dissolve the monarchy. Okay. You have seen for yourself the storm of turmoil that howls through our streets. The government fails in its responsibilities, and my subjects suffer the consequences of our incompetence. Hmm... I wouldn't call it incompetence. But I will see them suffer no longer. The victory feast shall provide the stage on which I declare the dissolution of the Sultanate. Competence implies it's unintentional. It is mine intent that the ruling class of our golden city should take its place beside the common man in a fair and equitable republic. No more shall this nation bow to the whims of a privileged few. Yet, that which I propose will entail the tearing up of this city's very foundations. And even Roban, with all his strength and influence, will be hard-pressed to keep his footing on such treacherous ground. Thus would I ask you to lend him a steadying hand. You who have endured the wrath of innumerable foes are the one hero in whom I can place my trust. Will you do this thing for me? I would do anything for you, Nanamo. I am truly grateful. More grateful than I can well express. How much we have both changed since that day we met beneath the Sultan Tree. And the days ahead promise to change us further still. I hope that we will recognize ourselves when all of this is over. No spoilers. They're laying. That wine looks suspiciously like blood. Who do I have to kill? Him, right? Don't act so surprised, you little shit. We know you did this. Her grace, the Sultana, is dead. And you know that just by looking at someone. Poison in her wine? You seem to know a lot five seconds after walking into the room. You! You did this! Yes, definitely me. I, the savior of the entire goddamn realm, killed the most precious girl on the entire fucking... Yes, it was me. D Taleji, get the fuck out of here with your bullshit. Spare us your denials! I see no other suspects, and the room has but the one entrance. Poison in her wine. She had her wine poured when I got here. Also, if you want to see another suspect, shall I grab you a mirror? Or perhaps the handmaiden behind you? Regicide. Men, arrest this viper!
All of you combined don't stand a chance against me. Uh. Alfie, why are you such an idiot? Sir, barring a few exceptions, we have detained all those with allegiance to the Scions. The Rising Stones is also under our control. And what do you hope to achieve with this mutiny? Why, that which we have striven for all along, Commander. The salvation of Eorzea. Totally not your own self-deeds, self-interests. from the homeland. This cannot bode well. Lord Commander, we have received an urgent message from the Holy See. Of course you have. I am grieved to report that your serpentine foes have resumed their assault. Needless to say, your presence is urgently required. These knights have come to bear you swiftly home to Ishgard. Mm-hmm. All right. A surprise attack. We've had no such word from our men, and the timing is most fortuitous to catch us away from the city. Most fortuitous, indeed. Lord Commander, we must away! And you are... You have been a most gracious host. I hope that I might one day return the favor. Come, Lucia. I'm sorry, Thankin's too busy flirting to uh, be in trouble. Whatever is going on in there? <laughs> ah, the ever dutiful brass blades. I must apologize, but my dance card is rather full. Another time, perhaps? <laughs> Thancred, of the Scions of the Seventh Door. You stand accused of committing acts of espionage in service to the Galian Empire. On the list of things that anyone in the Scions of the Seventh Dawn could be credibly accused of doing, that's at the bottom. No, it's not even on the list. It's just... That's what you come up with? Espionage? What in the seven hells are you talking about? Ah, if you're referring to that business with the Ultima weapon, then you must understand. I, I wasn't myself. Under interrogation, an Imperial prisoner revealed your involvement in numerous dealings with the enemy. We've also been investigating reports that you are a practitioner of forbidden arts. You best come along with us. Ports from some online? Yeah. You invite me to your party and now you want me to leave? I do so detest receiving mixed signals. Come then. 
I believe I've lost my appetite for this farce of a celebration. The fact that anyone believes 90% of this shit. You go too far, Lord Adelegi. By what right do you march armed soldiers into a royal banquet and eject state visitors without her grace's consent? Well, see, you I treat killed. the frost blades as your personal army and show contempt for the throne with your every act. Leave us. Now. Is that an order, General? Mayhap you have mistaken me for one of your flames. You will find I am not so slavishly obedient. <laughs> As you lecture me on personal armies. As for your outrageous claim that I have shown contempt for the throne, let all here observe that it was not I who feasted while an assassin removed its occupant. No, you're just too busy being the first on the scene. I expect this is your idea of defending the nation, is it? This and diluting our forces through these distractions in Cartano and Curthus. I do begin to see how the ranks of the immortal flames came to be riddled with Garlean sympathizers. You are plainly unfit for command. Wait. Wait, God damn you. Your words make no sense. What assassin? <gasps> you mean to say you don't know? We caught the vaunted champion of the Scions in her grace's private chambers, not moments after the deed was done. Weird how you were there. No! No, this cannot be! Save your breath! You will need it to plead your case. You and your entire order are to be tried for this atrocity. Uh -huh. Bring in the prisoner! This man stands accused of poisoning Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ul Namo, and as suspected accessories to the crime, all members of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn will be detained for questioning. It's funny how the only person accusing is her is you and your friends. What a pity. Who'd have thought your tale would end like this? Should you demand further proof, a vial with traces of the substance used to poison her grace was found upon the assassin's person. Hm. How very convenient. You would speak of convenience? Yes. Yes, I would. Who persuaded her grace to host this celebration? A diversion which presented you and your confederates ample opportunity to commit the crime, and a crowd within which to fade from view. A more convenient occasion I could scarcely imagine. We were invited? What the hell are you going on about, Teleji? Literally none of the Scions wanted this. We were told to come. you after all we have done for Uldar hold your tongue witch I'll not be ensorcelled I know all about the dark gift that you and your disciples wield oh yes I've observed how you worked upon the minds of the Alliance leaders bending them to your will and what of your cordial relationship with Sir Emmerich 
For years, Isgard abjured all contact with the outside world, and now the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights treats you with the familiarity of a childhood friend. Called saving his ass when his city was under severe threat. I'll tell you what I think. I think this desperate defense of Ishgard was but a ruse to deceive us into dividing our forces. Your next move will be to charm your Curthen allies into invading our lands. You would deserve it at this point, Teleji. Now that is truly ridiculous. How do you even think of this stuff? Because this is the story he's written. She... she cannot be dead. Stand aside, Ilbert. I want to see the Sultana. Spare yourself the pain, brother. I saw her with my own eyes. Funny how they don't want anyone to see For her. For mercy, the poison took her swiftly. Her handmaiden can attest to that. Yeah. I'd say so the handmaiden can attest to what the poison did to her. Considering she's the one who put it in her fucking goblet. She's the only person who was in the room when we arrived. Besides the Sultana. We sure as hell didn't put it in there. So, hmm. This cannot be. Donamo. Donamo. No! Plainly, the royalists can no longer be relied upon to keep our nation safe. And so it falls to the monitorists of the Syndicate to govern Uldar. But should you wish to help us, General, we would be more than happy to entrust the task of planning Her Grace's funeral to you. It seems only right that Rather you plan yours, the precious Sultana, and we will be glad to be rid of that burden. I'll bet you will. You more than any man. Whatever do you mean? I mean you had her killed, you black-hearted bastard! <laughs> what rot! <laughs> Though I did have sufficient motive, tis true. That young lady caused me no end of grief. And was about to abdicate the throne and institute a democracy, which would have ruled, which would have put you out of power. She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. You're trying to taunt him. You would mock her, then mock her from hell! Whoa. It's a weird play. Teleji's gotta know he doesn't stand a chance against Rabon. Have you lost your mind, General? It is forbidden to draw steel in the royal chambers, much less slaughter our fellow syndicate members. You're one of them! You've been in league with the Scions all along! You! You're next to scheming bastard!
the bong! You miscalculated. But... It's a miscalculation that someone who's supposed to be as smart as him, and as conniving as him, and... as manipulative and plan-focused as him, should have seen coming. There is no reason he should have been right in front of Raban. Further, there's really no reason Raban should have had his weapons on him there. This is a dignitary party. No one except the guards should be carrying their weapons. Raban shouldn't have had his weapons here. And Teleji may have expected he wouldn't. But then he should have changed his plans when Robon did have his weapons. But also, maybe there's something more. Seven hells! Admiral, we must leave! How unlike you, old friend. I did not expect to take your arm so easily. Take the Scions into custody. They have conspired to commit regicide. And arrest this traitor as well. Gilbert, I hope you choke on their coin. Tis better than the dirt I've supped on these long years. We can't all abandon Alamigo and become great war heroes as you have. You think they're gonna help you retake Alamigo? You are not the man you once were, Ravon. Since that girl strapped the yoke around your neck, You've become docile. She took the mad bull and cut off his balls. And a bull that cannot rot is fit for naught but slaughter. Screw you, Elbert. Shall I tell you who really killed your precious Sultana? Lolo Rito. The Handmaiden. It was me. You... You die! Feel confident in yourself. Got knocked exactly to the right Not spot. For a moment. There is more to this than I yet understand. Flee this place. Clear your names. Find out who is behind this plot. It is the only way. Now go.
There you are. Sancred, where have you been? Um, flirting. Avoiding the fumbling advances of some very persistent admirers. When I realized the celebrations had turned sour, it seemed prudent to slip away and take stock of the situation. Twould appear that much of the city is already under tight guard. It occurs to me that expanding the Brass Blade's authority may not have been such a wonderful idea after all. The success of this plan was contingent upon those thugs having the run of the place. Just how long has this scheme been in motion? Five hours is pretty good for you claiming you're tired from the very beginning. <laughs> the careful preparations, the maneuvering of forces, I am inclined to agree with the General's insistence that a deeper plot exists here. So, would I be right in thinking we now have an excuse to pummel as many brass blades as we like? I'm with this plan. Unless you plan on pummeling them all, I'm not sure that will greatly aid our cause. The Sultana's assassination was but one part of the scheme. We too were its targets. And though we did not share Pornonimo's fate, we are yet hobbled by the charges laid at our door. Where now might we seek refuge? Where indeed, we may safely assume that our foe is thought to have the Rising Stones watched. You got that piece anywhere near completion, or are you still just poking away at it? Forgive me for stating the obvious, but our choice of destination will matter little if we cannot secure an escape route out of Ulda. Happily, I believe I can provide one. Papashan once told me about the passages hidden in the walls of the palace. If I recall correctly, the fireplace in Anima's chambers conceals the entrance to a tunnel. You really gotta update your store at some point, man. Right after you open up commissions, I'm sure. It should lead outside the city and allow us to avoid any messy confrontations. If you go on ahead, I'll handle this lot. Remember when you were going to open your commissions like three months ago? Pepperidge Farm remembers. By yourself? Huh, I suppose I shall just <laughs> have to join you. God, you make me feel like I'm on top of my shit sometimes. <laughs> and I am horribly procrastinating. Crystal Graves too, huh? Now this should be interesting. Ida, Papalimo! Wait, you can close gates with fireballs? Here. Hurry, now! Find this tunnel of Thancreds! Pa Papa Limo, why are you on the other side of the gate? Minfilia, we cannot linger! Oh, 
Oh, nope. We're just going to another cutscene. We've been in cutscenes for like 40 minutes now, I think. <laughs> Bolorito. I mean, they did warn you, but yeah, this this section is pretty notorious. No, you've done. Holy crap, you see Ida's eye. I mean, honestly, he deserved that. Ida, are you all right? There are just too many of them. I'm fine. I could do this all day. How about you? Is this the last or the second to last quest? We're we're in the the, end of my the climax, tether. yeah. Skittle is you're you got somewhere into Heaven's War, didn't you? We're the scions of the seventh dawn! The ones who stand between this realm and the evil that's trying to destroy it. And if you think we'll leave the stewardship of Eorzea to the likes of your masters, then you're sorely mistaken. Sorry I dragged you into this, Popolimo. <laughs> Tis hardly the first time, and I'll be damned if it will be the last. Deus Ex Machina! Can I learn to do that? I want to learn to do that. I never knew such a watercourse existed beneath Uldar. The architecture is of the Sildeen style, if I'm not mistaken. The ancients plainly foresaw the need for a ready means of escape. Stormblood was free for a little bit, wasn't it? I don't know how that interacted with the uh, free way. trial stuff, though. Well, that didn't take long. It seems these tunnels were not as secret as I'd hoped. Who has a full account but doesn't have Stormblood in this day and age, honestly? You two, go on ahead. Thancred and I will deal with this. Wha what do you mean to do? Only that which is required to ensure that the dawn's light survive to brighten the morrow. Fear not, antecedent. You haven't seen the last of these fair features. My friends. Hmm. 
Leave us. Hmm, I can see that. I just... Maybe I question what how many the people plan, there maybe? are going to be. Shall I take the dozen on the left and you the dozen on the right? The odds are not exactly stacked in our favor. Who would be pulled back in by free Stormblood who didn't come back with all the hype around Endwalker. Numbers will count for little when I bring the tunnel down upon their heads. Though I cannot say I relish the thought of being in tune with you for all eternity. I played during the... You wound me. I will have you know that many a maid would kill for the chance to spend forever at my side. Now, may I have the last dance? I played during the Endwalker release weekend, and it was legitimately, like, six-hour queues to get into the game. 10,000-plus people waiting in line per server. Like, there, the hype then was huge. Okay, what's the Tai Chi move? He used to be an adventure. Oh wait, that was the thigh, never mind. Dude shot well, a little high. This is going splendidly! Now would be a good time, milady. Just done. Supposed to know who Mitra is? Must remain behind, but you cannot stay with me. Why not? Please, you must go on. You are the warrior of light. You are hope for the Scions and for all the realms. As long as your flame continues to burn, the light of the dawn may ever be relit. You must escape and save Eorzea from those who would plunge it into darkness. Is the only way. Another cutscene. Yes, yes, you should go to sleep. It's like 3 a.m. there, Skittle. Night, Skittle. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your wacky, rolly, spicy, dicey tomorrow. Glad to see you safe, my friend. What are what you the others? wearing? Damn that man! 
Tateleji played me for a fool. I thought the Crystal Brave's mine till the very moment I felt the blade at my back. Yeah, that's because you're a naive little fool. There will be ample time for soul searching later. For now, we must put some moms between us and Ulda. Who are you? And what is that voice? I don't remember him at all, or that voice. He sounds Thravnarian. Well, would you look who it is? Need a ride? I doubt it'll be half as exciting as the last trip we took. Not if I have anything to say about it anyway. <laughs> okay, okay, they're leaning into the trope there. If you don't remember, that's the guy who was sitting with us on our carriage ride at the very start of the game. So we have a lovely little example of the end is the beginning. Aren't who triplets? What are we talking about? Let's not dawdle, eh? All aboard! I mean, honestly, we're missing Alize, but... I honestly don't know. I've never really paid attention to that. But we just left Old Daw. That is the guy who took us in because we started in Ulda. Said her brother was having some trouble down in Ulda and likely needed a helping hand getting away. I think in them ruins would make a fine hiding place. I decided to try there first, and lo and behold, there you were. Aye, and judging by them soldiers as we're pouring out of the city, I arrived not a moment too soon. Ha! <laughs> Must have been fate that we happened to find you there, though, eh? I had thought to look out for Alize, but what appears she was the one watching over me. I've made such a mess of things. Alize is always carrying your ass. And who might you be, young sir? Is that Robon's son? Yeah. Pippin Taropin, Vice Marshal of the Immortal Flames. I had been on the Alamegan front these past few moons, but an urgent communication called me back to Uldar. Scarce had my boots touched the cobbles, though, when the streets erupted with cries of assassination. I immediately went in search of answers, and came across Master Alfino here. Needless to say, I did not think his imprisonment justified. 
The blame plainly lies with the monetarists. Their greed and corruption are well known to me. But for them to take advantage of the situation with such alacrity... Almost makes you think they caused it. Was that Pippin you said? Ain't that the name of General Aldin's lad? Yes, I am his son. Adopted, of course. It was only as we were leaving Uldar that I learned of father's fate. Once I have seen you a safe distance away, I mean to return to the city and extricate him from this madness. Then you needn't travel no further than Blackbrush. Our fugitives have a friend waiting for them there. I dreamed of bringing about Eorzea's salvation, but in the end... It was I who needed saving. Them soldiers, I keep searching for a while yet. Reckon we'll take the carriage back towards Old Dahl and get the lay of the land. Maybe provide a distraction if need be. Two, three, wait here. Help will be along shortly. Stay strong, friends. The real fight's to come. Alright, let's go.